play Coilers Empire and today I have with me Deep Pathare. Hi guys. Anyway, so uh, I wanted to bring on Deep here today to talk about a topic which is very taboo in pretty much a, a lot of places around the world but especially in India. So uh, Deep, uh, why don't you tell everyone what you identify as in terms of your sexual orientation. So I am gay and I came out when I was 15 to my friends and when I was 18 I came out to my family and they were pretty, I thought they would shun me, kick me out of the house but they accepted me thankfully. Uh, how are you so sure that this is not like just a phase and you're just like not confused? <laughs> so I was confused when I was in school so that is the time when your hormones are in action and everything but now I'm pretty sure because I've had my first kiss with a girl and a guy and I did not enjoy it with a girl. <laughs> and the funny story is the guy I kissed um, ended up with a girl who I kissed and they're dating since school. Wow! Yes, yeah, so you know how the gay stereotype is that the person is feminine, the person is a lot into fashion and uh, I feel somewhere you fit into the stereotype. You say it yourself and like yeah. he is studying fashion design with me. <laughs> so that's pretty obvious as well. But uh, would you want to like talk about how there are a lot of homosexual and bisexual men out there who do not fit into the stereotype? Yes, so um, there are men who who act straight, like completely straight and you want, you know, your gaydar will just go blank when they're around you because it is, it, it is their personality, I mean, if they're not feminine, there are homosexuals everywhere, like, in all industries. You know, in India especially, or just in any social setting, we always have this thing where uh, you want to find that one person who's like the butt of all jokes. And if you are, if you're not gay but also still feminine, you know, uh, that's that's where yeah. they sort of put you. Yeah. So how do you deal with something like that? So I've always been picked on. I've been ragged, not 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 as bad as you know they show in television. I have been uh, bullied, but. It was just in past, and I mean, I'm a strong person now, and all the hair that comes goes out of the door. <laughs> okay, so that's that's pretty good. I think it just takes some maturity yeah. to be able to exactly. deal with it, and the yeah. beginning is probably, I think, much yeah. worse than. So when I was in school, so they used to call me gay, hijra, chakka, and names, just names. So it was very difficult. It took a toll on my academics. My therapist used to tell me. Uh, Whatever they say, just listen to through one ear and get, let it out of the other because it is not going to affect you. I mean, it, it is affect, it will affect you, but it is not going to get you anywhere good. Mm -hmm. Do you know of any really bad uh, situations or like you know stigmas that people have faced in the country because of being gay or bi? A friend of mine. So I have these two friends who are really close to me. One of them, um, he is 23 right now. Mm -hmm. So when he was 21, he went to Bangalore and uh, he was in this club and he was wearing shorts uh, there were literally shorts and uh, very skimpy shorts and on his way back he was molested at a subway station and then this other friend of mine in Pune who was raped because he was wearing a red lipstick it, it was really hard uh, raped by men this yeah uh, raped uh, by raped apparently by, straight yeah apparently straight men okay. and there was there were five of them and he he was in hospital for three months. Like oh they inserted gosh. really big blunt objects in his anus, okay. and it was really horrible. Just because he was wearing a red lipstick for a for I think it was some event. We don't really have a law you can say for men getting exactly. molested and men yeah. getting raped by women or by, by men. men. So you know, uh, and in general, otherwise because you know your uh, a lot of gay men aren't accepted. Uh, like how do you basically try to protect yourself in a situation? I am very much scared about my safety, especially mm -hmm. in India. But the one thing I've noticed is um, uh, homophobic crimes in India are much less than that are abroad. Okay. That's what I've seen. They're mainly focused towards the transgender community okay. because uh, it's visible, it's out there. And mm -hmm. they're very easy to be attacked ment mentally and physically. Mm -hmm. Whereas in America, a lot of homophobic crimes do occur in college campuses, for example, or schools. Um, and here, I think it's even there that if you see two men holding hands and walking, you don't immediately assume they're gay. Exactly. You just think they're just like really yeah. friends. Yeah. But also, when me and my boyfriend walk holding hands, we do get a lot of nasty stares. But mm -hmm. not many people come and ask questions or you know start throwing stones at us. So where, if someone is there who's like gay or like just you know curious mm -hmm. and doesn't know, 
So where would they go? What would they do to find other, like, to find other people in the community? So there are always events um, happening around an organization called Yaria. There's mm. this other organization called uh, the Baby Family. Mm. So they host events in like the cat cafe or anywhere across Mumbai. So people meet, and then there's obviously the Pride Parade. Mm-hmm. where people come and socialize. I'll put links to most of this in the description yeah. if you want to see it. There are apps like Grindr, but Grindr, like the hookup Tinder, <laughs> gay Tinder. So yeah, I think there are a lot of ways to socialize. You just have to start, yeah. sort of like know a couple of things yeah. and I think that, and that just have, opens up and exactly. always works to more. And if you have um, friends within the community, you can always hang out with them and get to know mm-hmm. more about it. Okay, so thank you so much Deep for being here no and uh, you know giving your experiences and your knowledge and everything to everyone who's watching. And uh, thank you so much for watching. If there's anything like this you want to see, I'm planning to make like a series out of this. Mm-hmm. So uh, let me know in the comments down below. Please do subscribe because I make two new videos every single week and I will have Deep's Instagram handle in the description so like you can mm-hmm. go show him a lot of love over there. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.